Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. What we're going to do today is, if we go down there, we're going to have this little Facebook and Twitter feed that's kind of hidden. Then when you mouse over the icon, your Twitter feed and your Facebook feed will appear like that pretty easy to do we're going to be using a plugin for this today there's a free version and a paid version of this plugin Divi Supreme modules these two are both are available in the free version so let's get started first thing I'm going to do as usual is enable the visual builder Divi's visual builder lets us build on the front end in real time If you're building any sort of site with WordPress, I do suggest you check out the Divi theme. It's just absolutely awesome. It keeps getting better and better and easier and easier to use with more and more features. I've literally built hundreds of sites with it. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. Okay, well let's get started. What I'll do is I'll just get rid of this section. We'll start from scratch. All right, I'm going to go down. I'm going to add a new section. That should be a blue button. It's orange today because I've got some CSS on the module above that's making it that way. I'm going to add a regular section. As you can see, that's the regular button for adding a section. Once you add a section, it'll prompt you to put some rows in or some columns in a row. I'm just going to put two columns in mine. When you put your columns in, it prompts you to put in a module. All these light gray ones here are Divi default modules. And as you can see, there's plenty of them to get you building sites straight out of the box. But today we're using these blue ones from the Supreme Divi Supreme modules. OK, so I'm going to embed Twitter. And as you can see, it's popped up already. That's the default one for their Twitter feed. I'm going to put my own in there. And all you have to do is put your Twitter username in this under the content tab in this username box here. And you don't need the at sign before it. You just need to put the username itself without the at sign. So there's my username and there's my feed. Now, I don't want it to be as long as that, but we'll style that in a moment. And there's plenty of options here, show header, footer, border, etc., etc., etc. Just put it how you want to have yours looking. I'm going to go over to my design tab, and like I say, I don't want it to be endlessly scrolling there. I'm going to go to sizing. I'm going to give it a height of around 500-600 picks. I think 600 will do. Just need to type in the 600 with Divi and it'll put in the pics for you. That way, as you can see, my sections are not too high there. And that's fine, just how I want it. And you can scroll with your mouse wheel. Or of course, you can use the little scroll bar. So that's done. Now what I want this thing to do is I don't want it to be here when people initially get to this section. I only want it to appear when they put their mouse over it. I'm going to have a little icon in the background. So while we're here on the design tab, let's close up the sizing with a little chevron here. Let's go to, down to our filters tab right here. What I want to do is I want to go down to opacity. I want to click on the little arrow when you scroll over the actual name that says opacity there a little arrow will appear and I want to click on that and that will give us two boxes for default and hover so that means default when there's no mouse over it and hover when there's a mouse over it so default I want it to be invisible so let's make it totally transparent all the way to the left there gone great now when they put their mouse over it, hover, click on the hover box here, I want it to be all the way visible, all the way to the right there. Fantastic. So we've got default, invisible, hover, visible. 
Now I don't want that to happen too quickly. So let's go to our advanced tab to transitions. And the transition duration here, at the moment it's 300 milliseconds. Let's bring that up to say eight. So it's fairly slow and graceful. I want it to ease in and ease out. So it'll sort of have a little speed curve when, when we mouse in and over it. So that's fine. Don't want any delay. I want it to happen straight away or start to happen straight away. So I don't want any delay there. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's have a look. Let's just save our changes and see what we've got. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing it for demonstration. You can just keep going. Let's exit the visual builder. Go down to where we were. There we go. Just what we want. Sort of fading in gracefully, taking about 0.8 of a second. Just what we want. Okay. Let's enable the visual builder again and crack on with the next one. Then we'll put some logos behind them or images behind them, whatever you happen to want to put behind yours. And back down to where we were. Okay, this time I'm going to add a new module. Again, I'm going to go down to Divi Supremes. And this time we're going to put a Facebook one in there. There we are, there's a Facebook feed. I'll just move this so we can see it. And I'm going to leave that as a default. You just put your Facebook page in there. This is for the actual Supreme modules themselves. It's their Facebook feed. And again, like everything else, you can customize it. I'm going to make it the same size as the other one, the same height, so 600 pixels, which is fine. If we go in here, you're going to notice there's no actual filters in this particular design. So it doesn't look like we can do the opacity. That's fine, or we'll just do it with a bit of custom CSS. That's not a problem at all. Let's give this a class. I'm going to give it a class of SMD so we can target it. As you can see, it's disappeared because I've actually already got some CSS written in there. So, what I'll do is we've got a class. I'm going to undo that. A bit of custom CSS here, really easy. Don't worry about copying this because I'll put it below the video. Sometimes I forget to put it below the video. If you go to it and it's not there, please just leave a comment and I'll put it, make sure I get it to you. So I've just opened this little purple button here. I've clicked on the cog to go to the page settings. I'm going to go to advance to custom CSS. I'll just delete what I've got there and we'll rewrite this. There we go. So we've given it a class of SMD. So let's target that dot SMD. Open and close some curly brackets. Inside, what do we want it to do? We don't want it to be there. So we want to say opacity colon zero. Bunk, gone. Semicolon. OK, and let's just copy this and tell it what we want to do when somebody actually hovers over it. Control C, drop down. Now, after the SMD, no space, that's important. Put a colon and the word hover, no space again. So it's SMD colon hover, no spaces in between. And we want the opacity or opacity to be one, which is fully visible. There we go, and you see it's back. But what it's doing there, it's kind of doing exactly what I want, but it's doing it far too quickly. It's like flash, it's in, flash, it's out. So we want to make it do kind of what the other one's doing there. I don't know if I can get to the other one at the moment, which is sort of easing in, easing out, and I think we set it to 
800 mils or 800 milliseconds or 0.8 of a second so let's do that with this one so let's say transition colon 0.8 seconds or 0.8 s and we want it to ease in and ease out same as the other one so it's e a s e dash in dash out semicolon now to make this fully compatible with all browsers or most browsers certainly we've got to do a couple of things add what they call some vendor prefixes so we'll copy this and for firefox we'll do dash moz dash paste it in and i think firefox is actually fix that now but it doesn't hurt to put that in there just in case if somebody's using an old, older version and webkit dash webkit dash and paste in the transition that's fine that should cover most of the bases there of course older versions of internet explorer especially internet explorer 6 which is years and years old just it's just not going to work on but if you're running that, then you probably need to update your system. <laughs> okay, but like I say, that should cover most of the bases right there. So now when we hover over, it should be appearing and disappearing the same or similar speed as this one. There we go. Not quite sure why they didn't build that into that module. Let's just hit the checkbox there. That seems fine. Like I said, just make sure I didn't miss anything there. No, there's no filters section there for sure. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Well, we've done that with a bit of custom CSS anyway. Now we want to put something actually there so that people know there's something to click on. So what we're going to do, we're going to go into the row module, which is this green one right here hit the cog go down a background go down to the first column column one background and I'm gonna add an image you've got color gradient image video I'm gonna add an image and I just got these from Google I made them 300 by 300 obviously you put whatever image or what you want to put in yours Now by default, I think when you put the image in there, it's gonna make it cover like that. That's too big for me. So I'm gonna put it the actual size. Centered's fine. And I think by default, it's probably on repeat as well. And I don't want it to repeat, so I'm gonna have it no repeat. That's fine. Let's just scroll down and do one next door. Column two background, image. And it's Facebook. Same again, three by three. There it is. And again, I think by default it's going to have it cover, but I just changed it to actual size and no repeat. So that's it. Like I say, that one's straightforward. This one we had to add a little bit of custom CSS. So when we're happy, click on our little purple button hit the save and once saved exit the visual builder and let's see what we've got here take it down to our section there we go so there's our first one hover over it there's our Twitter feed and here's our second one with our custom CSS and there is our Facebook feed so there you have it there's how to have a hidden Twitter and Facebook feed using the Divi Supreme modules plugin I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development Take a look down below, we've got some 
great free web development courses. We've also got some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do take a look. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.